So I just want to... I just want to be clear here. When you're running for four more years of George Bush, that's not a good record to run on. So it's not surprising that John McCain, through his advertising, has been trying to distort and twist what our plans are and what his plan are. So I just want to make this absolutely clear. My plan altogether is a net tax cut. My plan will cut taxes to a smaller share of the economy than they were under President Reagan. Under my plan, income taxes for typical American families will be the lowest that they've been in more than half a century. Everyone, everyone in America, everyone, will pay lower taxes than they paid in the 1990s under Bill Clinton at a time when the economy was growing and we produced 22 million new jobs. Under my plan, middle-class families will get three times as much tax relief as they do under John McCain's plan. In fact, his plan gives absolutely nothing to about 100 million American households. And I can make a firm pledge. Under my plan, no family making less than $250,000 a year will see any form of tax increase. Not your income tax, not your payroll tax, not your capital gains taxes, not any of your taxes. And my opponent can't make that pledge, and here's why. For the first time in American history, John McCain wants to tax your health care benefits. Apparently, Senator McCain doesn't think it's enough that health care premiums have doubled, he thinks that you should have to pay taxes on them too. That's a $3.6 trillion tax increase potentially on middle class families. And that would eventually leave tens of millions of you paying higher taxes or losing your benefits. That's his idea of change. Now I do want to be fair here. Senator McCain's offering some tax cuts. He'd spend nearly $2 trillion over a decade in tax breaks for corporations. He would continue the Bush tax cuts on the wealthiest Americans. His plan gives more than a half a million dollars in tax cuts for households making over $2.8 million a year. That's right, $2.8 million a year. Can I see a show of hands, uh, all of you who are making $2.8 million a year or more? Okay. Um, if you're shy and you make more than $2.8 million, we are looking for contributions. To our campaign. Now, and look, I understand why Senator McCain maybe wants to give tax breaks to these folks because you know he defined being rich as five million dollars. So at 2.8, uh, perhaps he thinks folks are scraping by. We can't afford four more years of out of touch, you're on your own leadership in Washington. John McCain likes to rail against the Washington herd, but the truth is, when it comes to issues that really matter in your lives, he's been running in that herd for 26 years. And they've run this economy into the ditch. And this election is our chance to stand up and say, enough is enough. It won't be easy. It won't be easy. The kind of change that we're looking for never is. Uh, what we're up against are some very powerful, very entrenched interests. Uh, they will say anything and do anything to maintain the status quo. But you know, I feel good about our chances uh, because they may have uh, all the fat cats and the clout, but I've got you in this campaign. In this campaign, we've already shown what history teaches us, which is change doesn't come from Washington, it comes to Washington. It comes because ordinary people all across America stand up and say, we want something different, we want to take this country in a new direction, and if all of you will stand with me, if all of you will work with me, if all of you will dedicate yourselves in the next 53 days to making sure that American people stand up for their rights, stand up for their interests, then I promise you, we will not just win New Hampshire, 
will change the country and will change the world. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.